Okay, I thought I'd give you a quick close-up. Hello, not of me, but of the launcher. Um, so I built this from a, from a piezo electric igniter and the gate slab, um, kind of glued together a contraption. If you look closely at the end of those wires when I press the button, I know it's kind of fuzzy right now because I'm too close. Um, you should see a spark happening on the end of those two wires. That's what ideally is igniting our mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. So um, let's give this another take. This is take four. Okay, and I now need to add more hydrogen peroxide. Once again, do not need very much. I've got four and a half milliliters here. Notice I can keep on adding it to the same manganese dioxide because it just keeps on getting reused. There's one, two, three. That's one, two, yeah, three parts oxygen. Put it down here. Hydrogen's still just chugging away. It's going slowly there. And that's good right about there. Okay, now we've got three parts oxygen to three parts hydrogen. I'm gonna put it onto our launcher there and here let's move this out of the way here goes nothing hey there we go um, so now what you would want to do is measure how far that initial launch was kind of where it landed um, and record that so the basic idea here is you're going to try different amounts of hydrogen and oxygen to figure out what the optimal ratio of hydrogen to oxygen is to make this uh, rocket launch happen Thanks for watching. Chemistry with Mr. Barkland.